this is Story Recapped. Today I'm gonna explain an action, adventure, and fantasy film called Tomb Raider. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Queen Himiko ruled her empire with dark magic, causing death and destruction with a touch. Her generals eventually bound and took her to an uninhabitable island. Lord Richard Croft discovered an old map of where Himiko was and vowed to seek her, even if it meant leaving his daughter Lara. In London, Lara spars in a mixed martial arts match. Lara gets overpowered by her opponent and gets locked in a chokehold. Unwilling to admit defeat, Lara holds on but eventually taps out. After working as a bike courier, Lara heads to a local hangout where she overhears about a fox hunt, where bikers chase one biker who leaves a paint trail. If the fox isn't caught before the paint runs out, they win the prize money. Lara happily volunteers to be the fox. On the day of the hunt, Lara races across the city with a dripping paint bucket attached to her wheels. She navigates through busy streets and sidewalks, which her pursuers struggle to maneuver. When she loses them, Lara hops on a truck, leaving the bikers confused since the paint trail stops. Soon, she hops off the truck but comes upon a couple of bikers. She navigates around a park to lose them. She then rides into a quiet street and notices a man in a suit who reminds her about her father. Distracted, she crashes onto a police car. At the police station, Richard's business partner, Anna Miller, bails Lara out. Lara regards her coldly but thanks her for helping her. Anna insists that Lara doesn't need the money from the hunt, since she has her inheritance from her father. But Lara refuses to take it. It's been seven years since Richard disappeared, so Anna urges Lara to sign the papers to declare him dead. Otherwise, his possessions will be sold off. That evening, Lara reminisces about her father. Before leaving, Richard gave Lara a jade necklace, which belonged to her mother. He claimed that holding the pendant while thinking of the person they miss will let that person know that they're thinking of them. The next day, Lara goes to the Croft Holdings building to sign the papers to declare Richard dead. Before she signs, the lawyer presents her father's Japanese puzzle called the Karakuri. Lara takes the puzzle and solves it, revealing a hidden letter and a key. The letter mentions the first letter at his final destination, and Lara immediately deduces what it means. Lara returns to Croft Manor and goes to her father's tomb, his final destination, and presses the letter R, the first letter of his name. She finds a hidden keyhole and inserts the key from the puzzle. Suddenly, the other side of the tomb opens, revealing Richard's secret office. She finds fake passports and an old video camera where she sees her father's message. Richard recounts how, after his wife's death, he searched for a clue to another realm to be with her again. He then asks Lara to burn all his research on the Himiko project, as it would be catastrophic to allow it in the wrong hands. Lara finds a box labeled Himiko, but instead of destroying it, she investigates the contents. She learns about Himiko's legend and the lost island of Yamatai. She discovers that Richard was heading to Yamatai, and finds the name of the ship captain who was supposed to take him there. Since she didn't sign the papers, Lara still doesn't have access to her inheritance, so she pawns her jade necklace to fund her trip. Days later, she reaches Hong Kong to search for the ship captain. A group of young men offers her help, but they steal her bag. Lara navigates over boats to chase them, but they hop onto a boat that rides away. She goes through the marketplace as the men hop off the boat and run. She manages to tackle the man holding her bag, forcing him to return it. After returning her bag, the man threatens her with a knife, so Lara swings on a hook to get to the other side. She locates the ship, the Endurance, but the men corner her. Suddenly, the captain, Lou Ren, fires a warning shot, scaring the men away. Lou forces Lara to leave too, but he falls unconscious out of drunkenness. Lara sprays Lou with a shower to wake him up, immediately interrogating him about her father. She shows the message she found in Richard's office, but Lou points out that his father has the same name as him, so Richard probably contacted him instead. Just like Richard, however, his father is missing. Figuring that both their fathers disappeared during the same trip, Lara shares that they were headed to Yamatai. She shows him Richard's journal, which has a code that she assumes are coordinates. Lou points out that the codes are clock hands, allowing Lara to decipher where the island is. Lou warns her that the island is in the dangerous Devil's Sea, and insists that he doesn't care what happened to his father anymore. Still, he reconsiders when he spots a childhood photo with his father. Lara deduces that Lou lost to a gambling game last night, so she offers him money to help her. 
On their way to Yamatai, Lara reads Richard's journal and finds an ancient puzzle amongst his belongings. She learns that Himiko is contained behind an elaborate door that Richard has figured out how to open. Inside the tomb will be obstacles, including the chasm of souls, the faces of Himiko, and her army of a thousand handmaidens before reaching her resting place. Richard, however, was being monitored by the Order of Trinity, a militant organization that intends to control the supernatural to rule mankind. He worried that they'd use Himiko as their weapon. One night, Lara wakes up and finds the ship amid a violent storm. She climbs to the bridge where Lu is struggling to control the ship. Lara sees that they're close to Yamatai, but the massive waves throw their ship around. Lu tells her to evacuate, but Lara heads back to her cabin to collect her father's journal, though she leaves the ancient puzzle behind. The ship crashes onto a large boulder, so Lara leaps into the water, but loses Lu in the storm. Lara eventually makes it to shore, but sees other people on the island. Suddenly, someone knocks her out. She wakes up the next day in a tent and meets Matthias Vogel. He comments that he has daughters like her back home, but he can't go home until he finishes his work on the island. When Lara checks her bag, Vogel reveals that he has Richard's journal. Vogel thanks her for delivering him what he wants and recounts that Richard refused to cooperate with them, so he killed him. Lara's heart sinks at the realization that her father is really dead. When she steps out, she sees workers using explosives to destroy the mountain. Armed guards tie Lara's hands while she notices that Lu was captured and forced to work as well. Vogel then announces that they're moving camp. On the way to the new site, Lu shares that the workers are mostly shipwrecked fishermen or victims of smugglers. Lara shares that Vogel killed Richard, and Lu adds that the workers also witnessed Vogel killing his father. Lara apologizes for taking Lu to the island. Using Richard's journal, Vogel discovers the entrance to Himiko's tomb. The workers, including Lara and Lu, begin working to uncover the door. When an elderly man collapses, a guard orders him to get back to work. Lara and Lu defend the elderly man, but Vogel just shoots the worker. Lu grabs a shovel and swings it at a guard to allow Lara to escape. As she runs, Lu hits the men who fire at her. Lara runs into the jungle, and Lu tries to follow, but Vogel shoots him in the arm. Lara reaches a cliff and climbs over a fallen log to cross, but falls into the river when men fire at her. Lara struggles to get out of the river. Near the waterfall, she holds on to the wing of a broken plane. She manages to get on top of the wing, but it starts to break under her weight. She runs to the fuselage just before the wing breaks. However, the entire plane drops while she's inside. It gets stuck between two cliffs, so Lara reaches for an old parachute and opens it when she falls. She makes a crash landing back into the jungle but gets stabbed by a small branch, which she pulls out with a cry. That evening, Lara hears something inside the cave she's hiding in, so she steps out. Suddenly, one of Vogel's men, Rocket, grabs her. She bites his arm, forcing him to release her. Rocket throws her down, and Lara fights back, but she's overpowered. When he pins her down, Lara hits him with a rock. She puts him on a chokehold then turns him when he tries to grab a gun. She pins his head into a puddle, drowning him. Realizing that she just killed someone, Lara backs away. Suddenly, she spots a figure in the dark and chases after him. She sees the man climbing on a cliff and realizes that it's Richard. She climbs the rocks and finds him in his camp, but Richard refuses to believe that she's real. She desperately convinces him that she's real, and Richard tearfully asks why she's there. Seeing her wounded, Richard patches up her wound and lets her rest, promising that he won't leave her. The following day, the workers finally uncover the entrance, so Vogel calls his employers. Meanwhile, Lara wakes up and finds Richard cleaning himself up. While she helps him cut his beard, Richard notes that leaving Lara was the hardest thing he did, but Himiko wouldn't let him leave the island. He shares that Vogel works for the Trinity, so Richard must stop him from reaching Himiko. He's confident that Lara burned his research, but Lara confesses that she didn't. Richard panics, but Lara argues that she used his research to find him. Richard laments that she delivered the journal to Vogel, but Lara doesn't think it matters. Richard insists that Himiko's curse will be unleashed on the world once the tomb is opened. Lara urges him to leave the island using Vogel's satellite phone, adding that Richard taught her never to give up. Richard, however, claims that he was a different man back then. Unwilling to give up, Lara grabs a bow and arrows and returns to Vogel's camp. She sneaks into Vogel's tent, but he arrives moments later, so she hides. 
He receives a message on the phone that his employer's transport is nearby, but he hasn't figured out the code to open the entrance. Lara slips out of the tent and catches Lou's attention. Lara shoots the guard watching the workers and instructs them to arm themselves. While she collects the phone to escape the island, Lara sees Vogel leaving the tent, so she urges Lou to lead the others away while she heads for the tent. She retrieves the satellite phone and runs, but stops when she finds Richard approaching the entrance to the tomb. Vogel corners Richard and demands him to open the tomb so he can return to his family, but Richard argues that his family won't live if they open it. Knowing that he won't cooperate, Vogel orders his guard to execute Richard, but Lara shoots the guard before he can fire. She aims her arrow at Vogel, but he holds her father at gunpoint. Vogel figures that Lara doesn't believe in the myth, so he asks her to convince Richard to open the tomb. After much thought, Lara decides not to let her father die after she just found him, so she volunteers to open the door. Remembering how she solved the ancient puzzle before, Lara arranges the wheels on the entrance. Suddenly, the door collapses, revealing a pit. Lara, Richard, Vogel, and his team enter the tomb. When they feel a gust of wind, Richard believes that Himiko is still breathing, but Vogel argues that it's just a change in air pressure. Suddenly, Lara steps on a trigger, and spears come out of the floor, killing one of the guards. Afterward, they reach a chasm of skeletal remains, which Lara figures as the chasm of souls. They set a ladder to cross to the other side, where they find sculptures of Himiko's faces. A guard steps on another trigger, causing circular doors to trap them inside. Suddenly, the floor starts to collapse. Lara notices that the guard on the other side of a door is peeking at them. She figures that the hole he's looking from is a keyhole, so they try using the prayer wheels from the wall as keys. Suddenly, the floor beneath Lara collapses, but she holds on to the door. The door still doesn't open, so Lara remembers the riddle from the entrance and figures that they need to combine the yellow and blue prayer wheels to create a green wheel, the color of life. Finally, the door opens and they find a ruined pagoda. Inside, they find the tombs of Himiko's handmaidens who sacrificed themselves to serve Himiko in the afterlife. Witnessing everything exactly as Richard wrote them, Lara wonders if the myths were true. Finally, they reach Himiko's coffin. Richard tries to convince Vogel not to open the coffin, but he doesn't believe in the myth. The guards open the coffin, revealing Himiko's corpse inside. Suddenly, Himiko's eyes open, but her body starts to rot immediately. Lara notices that the paintings in the tomb don't portray Himiko as a monster. She then recalls the riddle that Himiko must die to bring back life, and that she spreads death with a touch. Lara stops the men from moving Himiko, noting that Himiko sacrificed herself to protect the world. They don't listen, and when they touch the body, Himiko rises from the coffin. Seeing gears in the coffin, Vogel thinks it's just a trick. However, one of the guards who touched the body sees his hands turning black. His flesh begins to rot, confirming that Himiko was a carrier of a virus, so she locked herself away to contain the disease. He screams in pain and opens fire out of panic, killing the other infected guard. Vogel then shoots him down. Despite what he saw, Vogel decides to bag Himiko's finger to take to his employers. While he's distracted, Lara grabs a pickaxe and attacks the last guard, while Richard takes a gun from a dead guard and shoots Vogel in the leg. The guard chases after Lara when she runs out. Vogel offers Richard to go home, but he refuses to let him take the disease out of the island. Soon, Vogel runs out of bullets, but the infected guard rises and attacks Richard. With Richard distracted, Vogel leaves. Richard blocks the man's attacks and shoots him, but he's been touched, so he makes a tourniquet to slow down the disease. Lara hides inside one of the handmaiden's tombs, but causes the bones to crack, so the guard finds her. The tomb collapses with her added weight, sending Lara into another room. She spots a trigger and steps on it. It sends multiple spiked logs onto her and the guard, until finally, the guard is killed. Lara returns to Himiko's tomb, but Richard keeps her away since he's infected. He tells her to stop Vogel while he blows up Himiko's tomb. Lara begs to save him, but Richard has accepted his fate. He notes that it's a miracle that he was able to see her again, despite being stuck on the island for years. Tearfully, Lara grabs the pickaxe and says goodbye to her father. As Vogel crosses the chasm, Lara leaps and climbs onto the ladder to block him. She kicks him back to the other side, but Vogel throws her down. He holds her by the neck, but she throws him over and locks her legs around his neck. He punches at her side, so she kicks him off. Determined to trap him, Lara drops the ladder into the chasm. Vogel grabs the pickaxe and swings it at her. He knocks her down and pins her down. However, Richard triggers the explosives he set around Himiko's tomb. The explosion distracts Vogel, so Lara kicks him. Then, she takes the bag containing Himiko's finger and shoves it down his throat, infecting him before sending him down to the chasm. 
The place begins to collapse, so Lara takes the pickaxe and leaps to the other side. She stabs the pickaxe on the floor and climbs over. Then, she runs out of the tunnel. Lou finds her climbing out of a hole and helps her out. They spot a helicopter from the Trinity and threaten the pilots into taking them home. Back in London, Lara finally signs the papers to declare Richard dead. Anna notes that Lara is in charge of the company now, but Lara gives the business responsibilities to her instead. As she looks through the Croft Holdings ledger, she discovers that they also own Patna, the company that supplied Vogel's camp. Lara returns to Richard's secret office and checks his research about the Trinity. Remembering Anna's insistence for Lara to inherit the company, she suspects that Anna is a Trinity agent. Soon, Lara visits the pawn shop to buy the jade necklace back. She also notices pistols from the pawn shop and decides to buy two. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.